गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग वेलकम टू स्टॉक अड्डा विद जनक धन की बात सैटरडे लाइव स्ट्रीम तो फटाफट काफी दिनों बाद वी आर डूइंग दिस लाइव स्ट्रीम आफ्टर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग टाइम ओके एंड फर्स्ट लाइव स्ट्रीम ऑफ ऑगस्ट मंथ सो लेट मी सी हु ऑल आर विथ मी इफ यू हैव ज्वाइंट काइंडली लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट्स इफ आई एम ऑडिबल एंड क्लियरली क्लियरली विजिबल एंड हेंस आफ्टर आफ्टर योर कंफर्मेशन we can start the discussion there is lot lot to discuss today and would really love to hear because we are meeting after a long time and definitely the whole idea is there should be some some value add and today definitely i am bringing two three stock ideas along with an overview overall view of nifty so yes chalo so radha sahu is here radha sahu thank you for joining once tyagi hare krishna chalo welcome an unstoppable stock market has joined chalo let me see if everything has started well uh, hope the audio is clearly uh, audible huh? audio is clear i don't want any hiccups the other day i was reading an article of an american influencer speaking for 15 minutes continuously uh, on mute okay and people were sitting there so i don't want that fiasco or anything to happen chalo raj raj is here raj shiva happy independence day simran ji lokesh are wah superb many people have joined punit punit is our member punit welcome to the live stream good evening chalo so as mentioned we are doing our first connect of the month of august okay the whole purpose of today's live stream is uh, two things first i want to do regular catch up with you guys okay and spend some time taking your q and a's around investing around stock markets in general and thought i was feeling good today so thought chalo let's do one live stream today but i just did not want to have and have a casual discussion so i cherry pick three ideas okay we'll be presenting those three ideas in front of you along with some market analysis what exactly technicals are stating as far as nifty and stock market is concerned because technicals i use as many of our regular subscribers know for understanding and gauging the perception chalo with that let me share my screen oh the screen is visible straight away <laughs> uh, so that happens chalo uh, yes simran our conversation last night was helpful so hope the screen is visible now let me share so today's agenda uh, to begin with at the onset please take disclaimers from my end please please do not take any stock that we discussed today in the form of recommendation the whole idea is not to hand out the tips okay if the idea was to give out the tips i would rather start a telegram channel but that is against my thought process okay so please do not take anything as recommendation kindly consult your finance advisor before any investment decisions it is just that i am a, i am an enthusiast of technicals and fundamentals so i keep sharing ideas and uh, whatever little i observe okay i may be wrong as well first we will have a look at nifty then we will look at three stocks okay so guess let me know in the comments which stocks do you think are they one of them is proxy to investing second is my favorite favorite team so somebody who has been following my channel knows which is my one favorite team in stock market and i am perpetually bullish on that team for next 5 10 years at least and third it will be a chemical stock so let me know which stocks you think i am going to discuss and we will have a robust q and a also the whole idea is i want to take as many q, q and a as possible with you especially of those who, who are members who are app users okay hear your thoughts so chalo let me start mm, so fmcg cdsl king tanish jay shri krishna chalo jay shri krishna deepak happiest wow so many people chalo let me start with nifty okay so first understand what exactly is undergoing right now in stock markets fii's have uh, resumed they are buying in full throttle fii's are coming back and now it is really really painful for painful for them that is the first takeaway the second takeaway is right now as you can see i have drawn a trend line okay this is connecting the last three tops of the market let me show this to you top one way back in october just hold on look at this top 2 in jan top 3 in april and now we are exactly exactly at a very very crucial juncture so friends this week uh, though monday i think it is 15th august yes day after tomorrow is 15th august so the markets will be closed but from tuesday onwards this we are at a very crucial level okay so from here 
if this resistance line is broken no really you can expect some significant significant bullishness coming out of it now again as i mentioned i may be wrong so what do i what do janak as an investor interprets this okay so we are at a resistance point we haven't broken that is the first takeaway so do not do not just simply assume stuff okay this will be broken and we are in a bull market hold on we are at a critical level we are testing it one second as you can see in previous three tops just observe the rsi levels okay this is this is the first one After rsi was at 75 and we did, we underwent some correction look at the second rsi exactly coinciding uh, uh, coincidental with the top this is the second rsi and third top also had an rsi above 70 so three times okay in our tops we made rsi more than 70 and the chances are we went into at least consolidation or correction only only the last time it failed was in september 2021 when rsi was 80 and market did not correct it in fact went further up after some consolidation so personally i will be a bit careful here at least in the short term as investor so uh, again let me see the q a hope people are there Chalo. uh once i think uh, this so yeah okay i will answer a lot of questions around hindi and english why i am doing it in english but let me first get this thought across so the point right now is three out of four times we went back from the rsi levels of 80 i'm talking about nifty as a whole one second you might have observed there is a lot of optimism around you okay Having said that, I am not denying that I am perpetual bullish investor in stock market, but one has to understand when to be cautious and when to go after, when to be greedy. Okay. So the time to be greedy was at least a couple of weeks back. Right now, personally, I will be waiting and watching. That does not mean I will go tomorrow and sell. Okay. This is a this is I am not predicting this. And I do not time the market also. It is just that I am telling, I'm just sharing with you. The perceptions that are there and what are the indicators that are uh, telling me on the charts second point okay so next week is going to be critical if this resistance is broken then we will have to revisit this but nonetheless uh i will prefer to stay on the sidelines okay and see five four five percent here and there if market even if it goes no there is no harm but i do not want to be the one who is buying when the market is uh, going down or consolidating at least so market right now needs a bit of breather. It has been a one-way rally. Okay, the breather comes. It cannot be one directional move. And these breathers or at least sideways movements are good for the market. It helps consolidate. So this is exactly when in a big uh, analysts come on TV and say okay, market is in consolidation phase. I would prefer market take some breather and at least people can regroup. But nonetheless, having said that, I am pretty bullish. So if you ask me, uh, bear market concerns are personally, I think, are behind us. The oil prices are falling. No doubt Europe has its problems. China has its problems. USA has its problems. But India, Indian market are far, far, far better place. Okay. So and that is one of the reasons why FIIs are being attracted here. Plus, market is always forward looking. So even if inflation data is coming at very high levels in US, Okay, but the jobs data has been positive. So all the leading indicators are now softening. Okay, so in a way, market is sensing growth to be coming back in next 6, 12 and 18 months. Okay, so at least I am cautiously positive in markets. But in the very, very short term, I will prefer to stay on the sidelines. So that was about first my analysis on Nifty. Okay, chalo, moving on. Now, let me see Ankit, Amit, big shout out to you, Vivek Joshi, JSK. Chalo, let me have some water. 120 people watching while I drink water. Hit that like button. Come on, guys. Hit the like button. And now we will move on to the first stock. The first stock is a stock which is directly related to the equity markets. Okay. So what do you think? Which stock will I cover? Somebody is saying Angel 1. Okay. Nandini is saying in Gujarati, Nandini, how, however, I might, I might like, okay, in Gujarati, but the larger audience would either prefer Hindi or English. Chalo. Uh, so the stock that is, I'm going to discuss is, let me write it down, ICICI Securities. Okay, let me not uh, create undue curiosity around it. So few weeks in our li uh, last live stream, okay, we discussed okay, how this stock is making, making a double bottom. 
you can literally go and check when one of our subscribers like you only asked okay what do you think about icic securities and it made a double bottom there was a breakout it went up so let me show it to you what happened uh, from our last live stream to now so this is the first stock idea that we are discussing okay i will try to see if i can give some fundamental perspective also because i like typically i like to combine both but at this moment let me first show you so look at this this is the double bottom there was a breakout and this was the depth mm, hold i made it inverse this is the way i would like to present it so from the neckline okay and okay so typically in such cases 50% is the level where it touches and it touched 50% level also and now it is retracing so at this neckline the blue line that you are seeing this exact blue line which i am showing you around the levels of 460 it should take some support which is your neckline breakout of double bottom okay on the upside uh, it should face resistance around 515 to 520 so why this stock icic securities the reasons are not purely purely technical fundamentals as well now as i mentioned sentiments are slightly turning bullish the market participants will start coming back to the market and all the stocks that are stakeholders in this entire equity investing ecosystem including cdsl angel one icic securities will have a change in perception okay so this is one of the place however personally this is not my top pick fundamentally okay rather than stock brokers i like proxy investing everybody knows that okay but nonetheless the charts are really really showing some good interesting data bits which i thought i can share with you in fact if you see this also no if you see mscd so mscd is negatively uh, crossing over so it it goes to show that stock can go in sideways consolidation for some time okay before it gets ready so it is immediately i do not see a big spike up here the stock can move sideways or even correct but this neckline should be the critical level below 460 the entire analysis will fail okay so be careful let me write down the levels this neckline is on 460 okay below 460 this entire analysis will fail okay and on the upside this level of 520 becomes very crucial okay above 520 more bullishness can come but right now what this stock is undergoing this is what i have said sorted with me so far shall we move on to the stock price okay chalo uh, anybody else who else is with me shall we move on to the next stock one of my favorite themes any guesses which is the theme and which can be the stock chalo whoever guesses it first shout out to the guy okay so prakash is saying stock is down by 30 40% okay i don't know uh, there is there is lot of pra prakash i don't know if you are talking about uh, icic securities but we will take no no devang it is not clean science it is neither banking no no it is <laughs> erd engineering research and development is one of my favorite themes okay so tata elexi has hit 10000 but we are not going to talk about tata elexi that is a very different story and i am absolutely so happy sai siddharth thank you you know the answer <laughs> that is cheating you already know the answer but tata elexi has been literally a story which has made me emotional for many many times but today today we are going to talk about happiest minds chalo so we will do one uh, story on happiest minds so right now first let me show you the negative indicator here okay before we begin MACD is showing some fatigue and it is crossing over negatively. Okay, so this blue line is coming below the orange line. Okay, the MACD line is cutting signal line negatively and this can indicate at least some correction in the short term or at least sideways movement. So be careful. This is not a positive indicator. But if you ask me, RSI above RSI is above sixty, which is positive, and I will be bullish. Second, if you see, you no. Know, the stock i have been i have been openly saying one of the good businesses but not at the right price i have analyzed it several times last year in july september go and check out my live streams okay Th this stock was in consolidation and in fact along with time correction it has undergone price correction too however from last few months an interesting interesting bottom is being made okay now you can see the stock has made some sort of bottom 
along with this if you see you know the it is in a way though i am i i am very uh, skeptic about such high flag and pull patterns but you can see the flag and pull pattern here plus the channel breakout look at this these channel breakouts along with the flag and pull you no know, can be really really tricky okay but do not take it very seriously it is just a very huge pattern that i am showing with you okay the numbers will be absurd i don't want you to i don't want to show that but let me show you uh, something else first there is breakout here let me highlight this look at this there is a channel breakout here okay along with this forget the larger flag and pull pattern okay if you want to ignore it you can ignore but look at this it is though though the break, breakout has not completed but it is on cusp of another flag and pull breakout okay so just in case if there is a flag and pull pattern here a good element of bullishness can come in months in next few months okay let me see where this pattern ends and look at this it is going exactly exactly at its fibonacci resistance look at this this pattern completes at the fibonacci resistance of 1140 however word of warning here this is something that i am showing you early before and the breakouts have not happened the signs are mixed okay msd is showing sideways movement uh, flag and pull possible breakout is there though there is a channel breakout so we are on the cusp okay so this is one stock which i will monitor this is not hell yes okay there is a breakout no but i would prefer to show you early so you can do some analysis on your own here so now why am i not giving the levels or not showing you what are the critical levels because there is no trade as of now if we are on verge of it possibly but if it goes down then i will wait okay uh, maybe maybe the resistances that i am looking at is 1024 can be one resistance and another resistance can be 1140 okay but be careful here the breakouts have not happened these are early days so with me so this is my second stock chalo so we have done icici securities we have done happiest minds moving on to chemical stock again so as full disclosure i do not hold icici securities i do not hold happiest minds so i do not have any interest in them but third stock is my portfolio stock i am disclosing it right away okay so this is a chemical stock which stock do you think we will discuss dikshit dikshit agrawal ji is saying deepak nitrate kishor is saying deepak nitrate chalo so i think everybody knows king tanish tata chemicals looks interesting but no we are not talking about tata chemicals today yogesh uh, srf is interesting i would not deny but today we are going to discuss we are going to discuss about epak nitrite one of my portfolio stocks and interestingly 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 look at this so while you will say janak bhai it has already made a inverse head and shoulder pattern so this is what you are seeing look at this this is an inverse head and shoulder pattern the breakout has happened and lot of price increase has already happened so now you will ask when did you share this okay so luckily this was as part of my members update so yogesh if you have been part of my members update this this update was done exactly exactly 2 weeks ago let me show it to you look at this this entire analysis when the stock was at 1810 right now it is at 2050 so this is one train which i managed to catch early and share with my members so i will really encourage so we we'll try to do some real real value add so you can explore our memberships uh, our join button on our home page but nonetheless what is happening right now right now no as you can see it has break, given a channel breakout to first let me show you the larger picture okay so this is the larger picture first top second top third top three tops are there failed 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 but there is a slight slight possible breakout here okay now it will face resistance on 2070 okay below if it if it comes below this uh, trend line no then the entire analysis fails and we do not do anything here but 2070 can be a critical level above 2070 
some more bullishness can be expected. So right now also, like happiest minds, there is no clear indicator. Whatever rally that was supposed to happen has happened, but it has given first sign of channel breakout. One. Second, if you see RSI, no, it is slightly overbought, but not completely overbought. So there might be some steam left. It is still in bullish zone. Second, okay. Third, MACD is still positive, but it is showing some fatigue. So if you ask me, what do I personally think about this? Channel breakout is there, but personally, I will prefer to see if this closes about 2070 decisively. But it is nonetheless very close to 270. 2070. So interesting, interesting things can happen above this Fibonacci support levels. Fibonacci resistance. On the downside, uh, on the downside, this neckline which coincides which on 1850, which coincides with Fibonacci level can act as a strong support. Okay. So the risk reward at this point is not favorable, but this is one stock which we can monitor. If this channel breakout sustains one and second, Fibonacci breakout of 2070 happens. Interesting, interesting developments can happen. At this point, some bottom formation is clearly, clearly evident. So again, this is at this point, I'm showing it to you early. Okay, this might be no trade zone right now, but keep it in your watch list. At this point, there is no trade territory right now. So with me so far, three stocks, ICICI Securities, uh, Happiest Minds, Deepak Knight, right? So three stories that we discussed. Okay. Uh, again, Deepak Knight, right, was already, already covered as part of our members only post. So whoever is part of the memberships would have seen that. Now your question comes, where do you see the memberships? So all you have to do is go on my homepage and just click on this join button over here. So as soon as you click on join button, it, it is accessible on mobile, laptop, there is super fan memberships and then there is deep driver membership for 299 rupees per month. So having said that this month deep diver video is around the corner. Next deep dive video, Agla deep dive video, next deep dive video that I'm doing is on agrochemical stock. So the video will be out in next 10 days. I have done my research. Now I'm creating the script and will be recording it. So whoever is the member can expect by 23rd, 25th to have a deep dive video. Nonetheless, if you are not a member yet, I will highly, highly uh, uh, encourage you to go and explore this membership for a month. We do a lot of value added stuff, just like I uh, showed you in case of Deepak Nitrate, which was at 1810. Okay, it was like 15% move after that. Okay, so this is the value adds that I try to give through my blogs and through my videos. So that was about my memberships. So please you can go ahead and explore. So Shibu, very happy to see you as my member. Hope we have been able to add some value. Shibu is here. So Chalo, who else is here? So, okay, now the forum is open for question and answers. Okay, the priority will be given to Super Chats 1, second, Members Query, and third, interesting, interesting questions. Chalo. Hope you guys are seeing my shots. I have been doing a lot of value added stuff. There was a European story that I've covered, IDFC first results that I've covered. So if you haven't seen my shots, go ahead and explore it. We do a lot of uh, entertaining shots along with education too. Chalo, so let me see mm, if there are any questions. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So Swarnadeep Tata LXC right now, Honestly, uh, the valuations are out of the valuations are not at all something which I'm comfortable. I have booked profit. Okay. There is still some token amount left in my uh, portfolio and I'm planning to keep it not for profit. Even if it goes in time correction, I am okay. Okay. But I'm not really expecting significant up move or a multi bagger return in immediate, immediate short to medium term year. Nonetheless, I absolutely love this business. And if you ask me if the valuations are kept aside and if I'm uh, if I'm allowed to choose one business, it will be Tata LXC. Okay, but nonetheless, uh, valuations are paramount importance to me and hence I rebalanced it. So JLA is here. JLA, hello. Mm. Chalo. Uh, so uh, FI, FM Industries, Yogesh, it is an interesting story. Okay, I haven't uh, seen it in the levels which I would have liked the deep dive. 
but they are doing some interesting interesting work around uh, the whole ev theme and all so this is one stock which is interesting you can definitely have a look at it let me see the financials quickly for you so yogesh is our member yogesh welcome to the live stream fm okay this is one stock which i missed studying and i now i am really really repenting there is a significant up move also that has happened p multiples 20 definitely yogesh this can be taken for a story let's see chalo i'll have a look in this one interesting story let me see the debt levels debt levels are also good market cap of 2000 crores yogesh seems to be interesting thank you for asking mm hmm let me move on mm hmm Hmm. Questions around investing are not there, yar. मतलब थोड़ा investing के सवाल पूछो ना, I'll be very very happy actually. Uh, hmm. So Manisha Ladda Tanla platforms, okay, I haven't seen it in detail. Uh, when I covered Root Mobile, so typically when evaluating such companies, no. So Root Mobile, I personally found to be a slightly better option, despite Tanla having superior superior financials. Was because Tanla had some erratic numbers. Okay, they they are so so. Let me sh- share my screen. Okay, let me show you the rational and why I chose to stay away from Tanla. Hmm. Look at this. I am just seeing the yearly yearly numbers. Hmm. Hope the screen is visible. So this is a good interesting question. I got a lot of questions around Tanla, but I stayed away. the simple simple thought being here i will not get it because i haven't seen in detail so i won't be able to comment much but look at this the profit has been in loss in 2011 7 crores in 2016 30 crores minus 211 crores 40 crores so there is some sort of instability in terms of top line and bottom line okay in the past whatever business has happened no it has happened in last 2 3 years okay so so i would these are the kind of businesses which i will stay at the side and observe rather than investing money whereas in the contrast a very similar company by the name of root mobile okay at least at least there is some sort of steady growth that has happened okay again it does not mean that i am a big fan at this point of root mobile okay but when you have to evaluate you have to see these kind of factors too while evaluating the company so again this is my honest take on uh, tanla so initial checks failed and i kept the stock aside mm so uh, very good question that he has asked mr idiot box is asking which is the best stock for 10 year investment i will ask everybody here uh, uh, what do you think which stock do you think will be best for 10 years and i will answer this so there is no business which you can invest for 10 years and close your eyes okay there is no business like that every 2 years 1 years 3 years the business is changing fast okay the it is so it is not like 1960s and 70s where the asian paints and the uh, what you can say hdfc banks and sbis or maybe i am running out of names speedy lights these were 30 40 multi year decade stories now disruptions are happening very very fast so you have to constantly constantly evaluate businesses and you cannot close your eyes so that is one of the reasons why i will not answer this because if i answer something right now after 6 months or 1 year my vision may have changed okay so you cannot close your eyes but there are many many uh, businesses which i like so first of all now let me give a big shout out to devidas who has joined our memberships devidas hi fi and welcome to stock adda with janak join memberships uh, you can expect a video on a, a deep dive video that is upcoming in next 10 to 12 days you will come across lot of post also so hope you have joined as a deep diver but nonetheless even as super fan there will be lot of value adds that i will be sharing with you so thank you devidas ji mm. so yogesh no views on gnfc absolutely not studied so won't be fair to comment mm. जयलेश कैफलर अगर आपको इफ यू रिमेम्बर हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड टिमकेन इन वन ऑफ द वीडियोज एंड कैफलर इज एन इंटरेस्टिंग बेट टू एफ एफ एम आई जी थी जेस सो आई हैव स्टडीड 
personally since i'm not invested so i do not track it aggressively but an interesting story fm fmig uh, theme mm. so so avinash chandra is asking mutual fund or stock for long term 20 years so avinash my fund is simple here good question avinash i liked your question uh if you are able to study and understand no if if you have the willingness okay so i have actively actively ensure that i learn equity investing long term investing and understand not only the financials but the qualitative aspects also how do you analyze management how do you see the growth triggers how do you see the industry reports okay how do you see the valuations i saw technical analysis in last 5 6 years okay though i have been investing from last 11 12 years the real game changer have been the bear market of 2017 18 for me personally okay so if you are willing to learn about stock markets now there is no other instrument as rewarding as it but if you go wrong it can be brutally wrong also and it can destroy wealth so in such cases no mutual funds are a very very good bet if you do not have time to track and study stock markets for that index investing is one interesting interesting option which every one of us should explore okay especially when you are low on time and you cannot track stock markets as efficiently as uh, seasoned investors give time okay understand till that time definitely index investing is something that you can do in staggered manner so that is my view on mutual funds or stock markets nonetheless i am a strong active investor so i have significant exposure in stock markets but i do not see index investing as a bad option so we have another member also joining in chalo great so kishor imadi ji second members second membership for today kishor ji welcome to stock adda with janak memberships we intend to do active content for you and as i mentioned you can expect deep dive coming on hope uh, you have joined as a deep dive member as a super fan you will see lot of blogs also coming in so nandilesh welcome to the memberships mm. so let me see 200 people watching at least 100 likes should be there 113 come on so guys come on let's go for 150 likes 150 likes come on till the time i take up next question mm. <clears throat> so uh, somebody has asked i have 2 lakhs to invest always a learner want to invest in 3 4 sectors only with five four five stocks so first of all ideally four five stocks is highly concentrated portfolio and it makes it risky also i will suggest you focus on creating a balanced portfolio now how do you create a portfolio based is your risk okay i cannot comment the exact percentages but it should be a mix of small mid and large cap do not just simply have greed and go after micro caps or small caps have a proper mix okay one second at least chalo 2 uh, 2 lakhs hai so you can look at 5 6 sector so when you have 10 stocks or 12 stocks or even 15 stocks in your portfolio you can look at 7 to 8 sectors and have two stocks from each sector so maybe banking is good sector defense is something which i like uh, ethanol proxy play uh, renewables is something which i like uh, er and d is definitely how can i forget er and d is one stock it services is another good area mm as you can see auto ancillaries is something i like electric vehicles is something i like so these are the broad areas which i like after that you can definitely uh, have a look at an individual stocks and look for investment but a good question so if i am given 2 lakhs at this point in time this will be my thought process i will not go after just four five stocks i will look to diversify at, at, at least to begin with even if it are if, even if it is minute minute quantities no i will look at having 7 8 quantities to begin with and then increase it as and when i have money create a long team create a proper team before uh, having a concentrated portfolios so this is what i wanted to say chalo mm. so uh, age 28 current portfolio size 20 lakh kalpak i am very happy for you uh, wish you all the best in your investing journey 20 lakh is not a bad amount you will do very very well in compounding over the next 20 years okay uh, stick with investing this is all i would say is it wise to go for pms if i arrange 30 more lakhs 
So, Kalpak, I am not sure if PMS will be ready to accept anything less than 50 lakhs. Okay, there will be some PMSs who will be ready to uh, manage your fund over and above 50 lakhs. But choose your PMS wisely. You can definitely go for it. There are very good PMSs. You can definitely explore. Okay, you can have index investing too. But yes, if if you if paucity of the time is a constraint, then I will highly, highly suggest you talk to a financial advisor. There is no harm. Like we talk to doctors, no. Doctors, lawyers, we should be talking to finance professionals. Take help. Okay, understand. They will charge some uh, commission or fee, but see their past performance. See their past per performance. See the stocks that they are investing and see the credibility of the fund manager. Okay, whoever is investing, you know the PMS, see his background. Does he have the history of uh, uh, investing in stocks which go bust? So stay away. There are good 5-6 fund houses and PMSs which, which you can explore. So Kalpak, thank you. I really like the question. Okay, so if I did not have the time, now either I would have gone for index investing or would have seek financial advice. Chalo, so Kiran G, Kiran is our third member for the day. Kiran, big high five and shout out to you and welcome to memberships. Uh, definitely you can go ahead and ask a query and I will be more than happy to take it. You can expect blogs. You can expect special videos for our members, long videos about investment that I cover. So this month we are doing an agrochemical stock. Chalo. Mm. So Kiran has asked questions straight away. LIC, can you check technically? So Kiran, fundamentally I have my views on LIC and I have shared. I will request you to go through the IPO review. Okay, I have spoken uh, very cleanly in them. Technically, chalo. Uh, let me see this technically also. However, fundamentally uh, insurance is one space which I am pretty neutral about. Not extremely bullish, neither extremely pessimist. A good theme, but I like only one story in insurance to be honest. Okay. From invest investment perspective, uh, LIC is definitely not uh, not it. But again, I may be wrong. Do not take anything as a recommendation. LIC life insurance. Mm, shall I, let me see. Uh, so the good part is there is some sort of bottom formation that has happened. Okay. So till the time it is above this trend line, it it should stay at least in sideways territory any any breakout below this can act as a danger okay uh, let me see the resistance and the support levels on fibonacci too mm. so 708 can act as resistance okay and this trend line can act as support uh, nothing significant on rsi or msd not one of the strongest contenders to discuss much here okay it is one of the stocks which is uh, sideways any negative breakout can trigger a correction. So not bullish fundamentally, technically also the indicators are pretty soft. Mm. So in fact, let me warn you, okay, I'm not saying this will happen, but just that be wise enough to spot breakouts like this. So look at this. Guys, may ye jo pattern bana rahun, the pattern that I'm making, let me know in the comments, which is the pattern. Huh? And if that happens, what, what does it mean? So if if this happens then then uh, it may be more bearish okay let me know which is this pattern that you are seeing any guesses which pattern if the breakout happens it has not happened okay it may not happen also but i'm just matlab, warning you at the onset what i see here oh bapre so many chats guys please don't spam not no yes it is not hanging man it is inverted flag and pole, which is a bearish pattern. Okay. So definitely it has not happened. So I won't comment much. But nonetheless, thank you, Kiran, for asking the question as a member. And welcome to our memberships. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me now move on to the next question. Guys, please ask question one time. I will scan it. If, if it is repeatedly asked, it gets really, really difficult for me. I cannot absolutely, IGB, please, I really request you. I will have to put you in timeout. Mm -hmm. Let me put few users spamming on, uh, spamming on timeout. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Raj Ratan is an interesting king. Tanish is an interesting play. Okay. Let me see technically and uh, fundamentally too. The valuations are not comforting, to be honest. Okay, one of the stories which I tracked and I missed. 
uh, there is no harm in saying this. I missed it because I wanted to study more and the stock never came to the levels where I started studying from. So 40 price earning multiples. The company used to trade on 30 price earning multiples. Okay, so there is significant re-rating that has happened. Uh, technically to Raj, Ratan. Mm, wow. One way, one way movement. One way. So really, these are the stories which is which are there in your portfolio. Then you just keep and enjoy the upside. Okay. And do not think much. Just keep tracking the businesses. If the businesses turn adverse, then definitely one has to book out. Mm. So 860 can act as a support. Okay. Uh, it is right now in blue sky territory. So nothing technically strong, fundamentally strong too, but the valuations are not comforting and hence I will. Personally, I if I have to buy, this is, I personally would not have allocated anything here. Okay. But chalo, thank you for asking. Mm. So Mayur diagnostics, I have covered. You please go and check my previous video. Uh, in fact, I have covered Dr. Lal Path Labs only. There are a few reasons which I am uh, particularly bearish on diagnostics, at least for short to medium term. But nonetheless, you might have contradictory opinions and that is okay. Mm. So somebody is asking, so basically, okay, somebody is asking, why are you do, speaking in English? So it is just that some experiments that I'm doing. Okay. One, one of the reasons uh, to do this is I got a very good, strong argument that if you want to invest in stock market, no basic uh, English, just basic English. I'm not talking about Shashi Tharoor English. I'm talking about basic English, like see this, see that come here, go there, high, low, bottom, top. Okay. Whatever I'm conversing, it has to be very simple. So simple English is one of the basic hygiene factors for investing because on call is in English. Management reports are in English. Annual report is in English. So if English is really a challenge you not know, to understand and to read, then maybe you need professional help. Okay. And second, I want uh, really to see how does the audience react. Okay. Basically, when I start speaking in English and there is some degree of comfort also while recording videos. So I do not have to look out for words. In Hindi while speaking, now I sometimes feel that I'm running out of words. Okay. Just personally, this is my take. But nonetheless, uh, so I, I'm trying and exploring right now. But so far, the response has been quite good. Okay. Mm. So, uh, Yogesh, Tina Rabbar, I'll tell you. In fact, uh, this is an internal joke we had on WhatsApp group with my friends. I just, in Jan 2022, you know, I shared Tina Rabbar's story with one of my friend groups. Okay, yeah, this looks to be an interesting well, of recycling of rubber. Okay, definitely it is an industry which has a lot of uh, tailwinds because recycling as a theme is going to pick up. And plus there's something of rubber. Okay, so there is a proxy play of auto and tire industry. But somehow being a very micro cap, no, I did not invest time. And after that, the move has been one-sided. And right now also, I'm still evaluating. I have not completely evaluated this company. But somehow, Yogesh, you have picked up two interesting stocks. I will not deny it. I haven't studied to the core either of them. But whatever little I've seen, I found it interesting. So it goes side by side. And something that needs, that merits a deeper attention. This is what I feel about Tina Rubber. And in fact, Tina Rubber has started now their con calls. But friends, this is a micro cap. So please be careful. Uh, uh, what will be the, uh, the market cap, Yogesh? If you remember, let me see. Mm, what is the micro cap? So again, please, these are micro caps. These are extremely high risk companies, 444 crores. So this personally falls outside my risk environment below thousand crores. Now I'm very, very cautious. So because of this cautiousness, I do not invest time here, but one of the stories which you can study, I haven't invested. I'm still evaluating. That does not mean I will invest. Okay. I see a lot of companies and simply discard. In fact, friends, Eight to nine companies out of 10 companies, I simply reject. Okay, for some or the other reason. Because you cannot invest in 50, 100 companies. I have 15 companies in my portfolio, 14, 15 companies. And I am happy investing in them only. I do not add new companies unnecessarily. Okay, but I found the business interesting. Shubham, Sonavne, Janak, Bhai, Maja, Tata, Alexi, Ka. So, Shubham... 
uh, it is not that I am not undergoing FOMO right now. I'm feeling bad. Why did I book profit? But uh, an interesting, interesting learning for me was Jo profit book kiya wo apna baki sab sapna. So glad that I have booked profit between 8,000 to 9,000. Okay, at least I, I was able to reallocate. There is some quantity that is still there in Tata LXC. Okay, and I have kept it for another, another 10 years. But as I said, valuations from here on simply seem irrational. Technically, the stock is in a different tangent. Okay, it is absolutely favorite of stock market. Absolutely favorite of stock market. And my question over here is in when I, when I started investing in 2018, nobody wanted to talk about this stock. Even friends, family, they did not understand this business. Okay, in fact, even I did not completely understand. Even in 2020, this stock was available for 600. So you can imagine how irrational the stock market can be both in the downside and the upside. Now your job and my job as an investor over here is to weed out this irrational, irrationality. So when the market was irrational on the levels of 600, which I spotted, I find 10,000 levels at this point are irrational. It does not mean it will correct, but you never know. Okay. And I, I do not want to play with fire of such high valuations. So I'm pretty happy even if I miss out the buses. So that is my thought. Mm. Correct. Vivek. Well, Vivek, I like your thought. Reliance is an interesting business to be honest. But every there can be no patthar ki lakir. There can be no line in sand that this business is a 10-year short shot business. Okay, you never know who will come and over, overtake them. So be careful in simply just accepting whatever is given. But Reliance is a good business. Nonetheless, mm, chalo, move on. Yes, Rao bhai, whenever possible, kuch agar samaj nahi aata, to batayye, hindi mein bol denge, koi problem nahi hai. Mm. Doesn't matter. Yeah. See, at the end, content is important. Okay. Uh, what I feel, what my audience is, it, it is, it, uh, they are comfortable in both of them, Hindi and English. So I did a poll. 80% are comfortable in Hindi, Hindi and English. What matters is the content. I will ensure giving best of the best content and research, giving best practices and focus less on Hindi and English. Yeah. Okay. And honestly, if, if language is such a big problem, no, then you need help. Okay. Uh, in terms of financial advisor, because you won't understand if you don't understand even simple English. Mm. So is it right time to double down on camps and CDSL since markets are reversing? So in fact, Sai Siddharth, uh, you are, I think, member on the app. Okay. So I have covered camps. CDSL is an interesting story. Let me show you about CDSL, what I feel. So CDSL is not outright bullish. Okay, the one of the reasons why I did not cover CDSL today was it is not outright bullish, but slowly and steadily, you know, it is making a bottom and it is going up. So, yes, this is an interesting, interesting stock. I have not sold a single, single stock. I am in losses in this story, but one of the stocks where I am pretty bullish. Okay, so yes, bull markets can help, but it all depends how many IPOs come. There will be more FNO participation, more IPOs. More FNO participation, more trading, all these things help CDSL a lot. Though I myself am not a big believer of trading and FNO. But if more and more people do FNO, then you can definitely look at stories like CDSL. Chalo. So thank you for asking. Sai Siddharth. Kiran, yes, we can do a video on creating screeners. I have created screeners. Okay. Definitely. Mm. Chalo. Mm. So, Jackie, I haven't studied VA Tech Vabag. Okay. Uh, Ion Exchange is something that I studied and I like also in place of VA Tech. But nonetheless, whatever little I've heard, this is an interesting, interesting play. But again, not studied it to the levels which I have liked. In fact, you can go and explore Ion Exchange. Mm. Dushyan Bhai, good evening from Mumbai. Chalo. Mm, moving on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Please, Deepak, please, Deepak, why do not spam? I am not able to filter out questions. Mm. So, uh, Akhinesh Gaming is asking about Campus Activewear. So, I have been lucky to get IPO of Campus Activewear. 80, 90 multiples seemed irrational to me. I booked out and I'm sitting on the sidelines. Okay, let me see the price earning multiples. 
Mm, so I'm I respect valuations a lot. Uh, by the way, if anything falls out of my comfort area, no, I stay away. No doubt, one of the promising stories: hundred price earning multiples. Okay, so even if the company grows by fifty percent in next year, the peg ratio will be still two. So rather, I invest in Tata Alex, which I which I'm already tracking. If I want to invest in hundred price earning multiples, as simple as that. Mm, so the decision making in such cases now is pretty simple. Mm, chalo, so we have a super chat. Thank you, COC Clasher, for asking. Wow, very very tricky question. Uh, and I like the question also. KPIT versus Birla Soft. So uh, Clasher ji, Birla Soft is one business which I liked. I will not say no. I have done a blog also on same for our members. So you can Clasher ji, you can definitely look. Uh, I had our memberships Birla Soft uh, video. Uh, sorry, blog I have covered. But I have some some sort of affinity towards ERND businesses. Priorities are Tata LXC and LTTS. They both are my part of portfolio. KPIT. I do not want to go overboard on the same theme. But KPIT is one business which I like. So it is very difficult to choose either of them. But if forced, if forced, I can only pick one. Then maybe I will go at KPIT. Okay. But nonetheless, it is a very difficult question. It is a it is a toss of a coin. Now. Coming to Deepak Nitrate and Clean Science, I like both the businesses. I have disclosed it also. I like both the businesses, but the valuations of Clean Science are not comforting. And Deepak Nitrate, hence, is already part of my portfolio. The valuations are there. The management, uh, uh, I'm seeing, hearing the con calls. I'm seeing the results and everything. So it seems to be a decent play. Okay, but again, I may be wrong. So I do not really want to enforce any of the thoughts. All the four businesses. Are interesting now. It is your choice where to allocate. But thank you for the super chat, Cockleasher. Mm. Oh oh oh. So uh, Prana TCS, no, it is one of the stories. So let me tell you. Mm, let me show you what what is happening in TCS. Okay, nothing against it. I like TCS. Mm. एक सेकेंड है लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन सो लुक एट दिस टीसीएस राइट नाउ नो इट इज एट प्राइस प्राइस अर्निंग मल्टीपल्स ऑफ थर्टी जस्ट सी इट लाइक दिस थर्टी प्राइस अर्निंग मल्टीपल्स एंड इफ यू सी द ग्रोथ ऑफ द कंपनी इट हैज ग्रोन बाय टेन ट्वेल्व फोर्टीन परसेंट सो वी आर लुकिंग एट पेग पेग मल्टीपल्स लेट मी शो मतलब वॉट आई एम आई डो नॉट हैव माई राइटिंग पैट टूडे सो जस्ट लेट मी यूज द स्क्रीनर Look at this. Thirty times P ratio. This is the P. Growth is happening at ten. So the peg ratio that maybe I can see is equal to thirty divided by ten. So three times peg ratio. This makes me slightly wary in investing this business. One. Okay. There are other alternatives available too, which are growing at a better rate than TCS. But TCS is one of the stories which I you may not go wrong. Okay, the downside is limited, but personally my risk appetite being higher, this this is one of the businesses which I which I admire but do not invest. But nonetheless, nothing against the business. One of the finest finest businesses in India, to be honest. But again, I don't know how much money will I make from here. So this is something that I think. Mm. But thank you, Pranab, for asking. uh tube investment somebody asked that uh, 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 rasidul uno minda uh, tube investments both are interesting stories tube investments is doing some really interesting work you can definitely study this again not a part of my portfolio mm. pradnya haven't seen the results okay so not commenting right now uh, won't won't be fair let me see if i can do something So Pradnya, if you take up memberships, we will definitely take request for members. So, one, I will give you a trade secret. Bata do. If you are members, okay, we will definitely take up this request. So, one of the members requested us for Apple, and I am working on analyzing the results of Apple and doing a blog around it. So, okay, so members comes with some perks. Okay, we can take up request on priorities. So, definitely, Apple's quarterly results is something that I am looking to present. So, Dushyant, I already covered Tanla. You can revisit this live stream. Won't be. Mm. 
so we spoke about navkar cop i haven't studied vigard i haven't studied uh, oracle financial services uh, again a case of dividend play the growth has not been exemplary uh, one stable business okay nothing uh, so my risk appetite is you can say slightly higher but nandilas another good business but i am not really uh, keen on adding this to my portfolio let me show see what i am showing it to you look at the growth rates the growth rates has been in single digit in it sector they are paying good dividends but somehow they are not able to grow the way the entire pack is growing okay so definitely uh, these are all the things that keeps me away so we have a new member also joining let me see who has joined so cr welcome to the community hope we will be able to do some value add to your investing journey and high five so cr you can ask a question also and wait for our deep dive to come mm. chalo mm. so ayush uh, about defense se- sector i have certain stories which i have covered so see my old videos okay i would highly suggest you see them mm. defense is one of my favorite favorite packs and i have been tracking it from past few good months okay Mm. Chalo. Moving on, let me see. So the so typically, you know, I find these sectors to be defensive, Akash. So in pharma, no, rather than going blankly after pharma, so I do not prefer the end user companies which go and sell the medicine. Something say like so. In fact, Cipla is one of the strongest businesses. okay dr reddies and all there are many businesses but i take a step one level back and look at companies into crams or cdmo so either api cdmo or crams business this is what i like in pharma or even better other proxies to pharma or something like specialty chemicals so come back in value chain and look at companies who are either into cdmo api or into crams so pharma i directly do not go and explore okay because uh, no doubt there is regulatory pressures on both the ends but then there are there is two competitiveness in one market okay whereas scrams company can work for multiple stakeholders so this is something which i like they can have multiple pharmacy clients so maybe you can have a look at something like say dv's lab they have not they are not competing with any pharma front end company so some that i find interesting loras labs is there there are many good stories in pharma fmcg is one of the favorite sectors okay to be honest FMCG. Uh, if somebody is starting out journey, FMCG is one of the good places to understand how the business and the entire financials work. Because the downside is limited in FMCG. These are stable cash generating companies. So I have done one shots on uh, FMCG. You can go ahead and look. Though the they may not give out multi baggers, but these are good compounding businesses. So definitely FMCG is interesting, interesting story. Hmm. Chalo. moving on raj arthi industries i have done a shorts i will request you to go and visit uh, same mm. so rahul uh, i do not play sugar sector directly uh, what i feel is uh, balrampur chini and uh, renuka sugars and the likes of uh, triveni they will compete within themselves rather take a step back and look at the company serving these guys this is how i look at ethanol story mm. chalo so we will take last one or two questions mm, tata power i don't know what is your entry price shashank you have entered at 5000 and when you are saying long i don't know you are doing fn or no but one of the businesses which i like and it is at the heart of ev business okay so tata power is a good stock i don't know anything apart from this at what level you have entered what what is your position so again maybe right for you or no this is something which is very difficult for me to comment maybe you want to exit tomorrow so i don't know what is going to happen tomorrow but an interesting business if you have patience mm mm chalo so i'm looking out for good good questions mm mm let me see so pankaj rathi has asked vtl gland so gland had a very moderate uh, results this time 
सोना बी एल डब्ल्यू इज कंसोलिडेटिंग वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट स्टोरी कॉन्फिडेंस जी वी टी एल आई एम नॉट ट्रैकिंग सो वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू कमेंट सो ओरियंट इलेक्ट्रिक यूज टू बी वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट स्टॉक्स आई वुड नॉट डिनाई दैट बट देर आर अदर स्टोरीज विच आई फाइंड मोर कन्विंसिंग इन दिस एफ एम ई जी स्पेस ओके मे बी द लाइक्स ऑफ के आई और इवन पॉली कैब सो आई एम पर्सनली ओरियंट इलेक्ट्रिक इज वन ऑफ द बिजनेस विच आई एम जस्ट ट्रैकिंग एंड नथिंग मोर सो दीक्षित इज आस्किंग हाउ टू इन्वेस्ट टू लैक पर मंथ दीक्षित वेरी डिफिकल्ट आई डोंट नो योर एज आई डोंट नो योर हॉराइजॉन ओके एंड आई कैनॉट सिंपली से यू गो एंड इन्वेस्ट यूर दिस इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स डिस्कशन सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू फर्स्ट आइडेंटिफाई वेयर ऑल डू यू वॉन्ट टू इन्वेस्ट इट इज नॉट इक्विटी एंड अलोन यू हैव टू लुक एट दिस एज अ बुफे एन एंटायर लंच थाली सो यू कैनॉट जस्ट बिंज ऑन द डेजर्ट ऑर द फ्राइड आइटम देर हैज टू बी अ प्रॉपर बैलेंस डायट so what ka- do you want to invest in golds and debt do you want to invest in equity so you have to think on the percentages and after that also you have to think how much do you want to put in mutual fund how much do you want to put in equities and then create a proper proper assortment so there is no one answer to this and they, this is the reason why personal finance is called personal because it is very personal to you i really cannot comment chalo but thank you mm, for same Oh, now uh, Cock Clasher is asking. Chalo, Cock Ji, thank you for asking. C O C Clasher Ji for asking. Uh, Long term infi versus T C S, Havels versus Polycap, Black Rose. I am not tracking Polycap. I spoke my views. It is very clear. Uh, I would prefer Infosys more than T C S. Clearly. Mm, chalo. So thank you for the super chat. How to determine risk capability? So this is the question. So Nishant Khatri. ऐसा कोई सवाल आता है ना दिल खुश कर देता है दीज आर दाइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन विच आई लाइक दिस इज गोइंग टू रियली हेल्प दी ऑडियंस सो देर आर थ्री थिंग्स दैट गो इन एसेसिंग योर रिस्क ओके फर्स्ट वॉट इज योर एज सो इफ यू आर सिक्सटी ईयर ओल्ड एंड हैव टू लिव ऑन पेंशन यू कैन नॉट गो एग्रेसिव ऑन इक्विटीज सो एज प्ले इज अ वेरी बिग पार्ट और मे बी यू आर अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर ओल्ड एंड जस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड सैलरी यू डो नॉट हैव मच सैलरी ऑल्सो योर इनकम इज जस्ट यू इन्वेस्ट वेरी लिटल यू हैव नो रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज then your risk appetite is significantly high how do you know this so you ask yourself when do you need the money so if you need money next 6 months 1 year 18 months then your risk appetite is low to be honest in 18 24 months nobody knows how the stock market will behave if your risk cap if your horizon is now about 3 years 5 years 10 year perspective then you start moving towards medium risk taking capability also it also depends that uh, Uh, again so if your wife is not financially dependent on you if you do not have kids maybe you can take more risk but if you have dependent parents if you have kids and their education needs to be taken care of then maybe your risk appetite slightly goes down so rule of the thumb is somebody who is 30 32 and do, does not have much responsibilities can take slightly higher risk again this is not a fixed rule but as your age goes up more and more responsibility comes your risk capacity slightly reduces but a good question nandilesh nishant i really liked the question mm. and thank you for asking this mm. no p ratio sorry there is no fixed answer a good question somebody has asked how much p ratio is good for adding stocks there is no fixed answer p ratio is to be seen at last and in fact p ratio is a misleading indicator that you so basically what i will suggest is you please explore my uh, classes i have done fundamental analysis and how to see the valuations there is one entire lecture that i have done in my classes how to see the pe ratios and all so it is the most difficult part to see and judge it is not a number it is qualitative analysis okay a a 50 60 price earning multiple for a tech company is far far better than a 40 50 company for a commodity or a cyclical play so there is no fixed answer to this Mm. but nandilesh thank you for asking maybe hope i am making sense okay uh, you cannot rely on price earning multiples as a single number mm. there is an entire entire way this has to be studied mm. trident uh, akshay ji uh, so personally if you ask me one of the stocks which is undergoing a lot of corporate action and is in news no continuously i personally tend to avoid sai i saw your okay chalo let me take uh, the question of the member 
is it better to wait for the business to come at reasonable valuations or buy little quantities and keep adding the dips and riding the business so uh, there is no fixed answer to this what maybe you can do this over here is if the valuations are too too high no you just do not have over allocation to these stocks say for example if personally if you ask me these are my rules i do not prefer allocations more than 12 to 14% in an equity so in in a case where the valuations are absurd i will not have more than 3 to 4% of my portfolio and maybe go little in adding also i will just add and wait okay and see how the stock behaves okay but there is no point in just playing the momentum blindly and if you are playing the momentum blindly be prepared to use technicals to get out also okay so you have to rebalance rebalancing is a skill where technicals really help but nonetheless you have to see say for example now if you see apple india okay uh, it has never so chalo let me show this with an example a good question that you have asked mm, chalo apple we will talk about apple india only mm. let me see if i can show it in tijori so maybe guys i am doing a blog on apple india so if somebody is holding apple india you can look at our memberships chalo let me go to financials mm, valuations and let me show you the price earning multiples mm, three years look at this so traditionally after 2021 the the price earning multiples have never been low look at this i am talking about 2020 or at listing it is at 60 times price earning multiple in 2019 okay once it came to 38 times which i will not deny it is in but in the covid time it is in 2020 after that also it is at price earning multiples of 60 70 uh, right now at 100 80 60 so this is one business this is how you analyze what is the trend like of the price earning multiples too so if a business is commanding valuation premiums of 50 60 times or 80 70 times then maybe there are less chances it will come to 30 20 okay then maybe you might have to premium pay the premium in such a case of 50 60 times at least and 60 times do not seem to be a bad deal in such businesses so this is what i feel about valuations so it is very subjective but as soon as what happens what uh, happens in such businesses no as soon as the growth goes away no the market punishes badly so be careful in chasing momentum but chalo thank you sai for asking but i am very happy a lot of people are asking valuations and uh, entry and exits so exits are very important and today is one of the sessions which i really like where people have really come and spoke about how i see valuations mm, last question for the day uh braj i have done a video okay on portfolio allocation it is shorts that i have done i will encourage you to go and check mm. so sane janardhan ji ipo your view is good thank you so have been blessed basically have been lucky to get good ipos okay get into good ipos invest in fact i have seen if you invest properly in right ipos no and if you increase the allocation no you can make good amount of money but you should know how to evaluate the ipo that is the task to separate good quality ipos from poor businesses okay so sona comstar is one business which i am holding from ipo iex is something that i am holding from ipo and i have averaged on the way up okay so there are many good businesses which i have been able to pick cherry pick from the ipo and ride the wave so thank you for asking and acha laga aapke compliment abhinash ji guru ji pranam aap bhi guru ji so deep ayush chanda chuda chudasma ji is asking deep uh, deep diver hai diver driver nahi hai diver hai wo uh, memberships include regular blog post priority question and answers in the chat like it is happening today and third thing you will get one special video every month a dedicated special detailed discussion on the stock so this month we are covering on agrochemical so there are three videos in fact four videos that we have done we have done electric vehicle tech company we have done a blockchain company we have done a, a small cap banking stock and this month we are doing an agrochemical business so you can see the old videos too so this is what is included in deep diver chalo so moving on mm. 
so uh, muthut finance is one of the stocks which i used to like to be honest but now the problem here is the competitive intensity in gold loan loan has increased a lot so my thesis here has changed so something which i am just studying but not very bullish right now mm. so crg i cannot really comment for you can you buy tata alexi it will be wrong on my part to answer this okay just hold on my battery is going i think it is an indication uh so uh, i cannot really comment one of the businesses which i like part of my portfolio i have reduced my allocations also so really won't be fair to answer this but one of the businesses which i like and it is not correcting also so i really cannot comment right now technically we will have to track so do not take any answer from me right now in tata elixir it is just one business which i bought and i am holding mm, and hold in fact i have reduced allocation and now holding at uh, basically my capital is out my profit is also out it has been a multi bagger and whatever it is so basically i do not have much downside this is what i feel but it may be a very different story for you so do not take anything as recommendation mm, so nishant is asking sir market overvalued right now so uh, nishant what i will suggest is uh, personally i am a perpetual bull in stock market and i feel that we are just getting started a new bull run is getting started but in the short run in this live stream only i have discussed what are the technicals like so go through the technicals uh, it will really help you see the perceptions of the market in the short run market can go anywhere okay so i am not commenting for tomorrow i am commenting say 5 years from here on so if you ask me 5 years from here on janak bhai what do you see happening more 20000 or 12000 the answer is 20000 plus definitely mm Tega interest, uh, Dhirendra. Tega Industries is an interesting story. Would not deny it. Studying it. Mm. So Tata Communications, I haven't studied. Justin, difficult to comment. Arey, mm. boy, Arthi Industries chart. देखिए for long term, पंद्रह साल. So Abhijit, typically, you know. uh itne bade time ke liye i do not prefer to see charts okay 15 years it is just guesswork if i see charts to be honest anybody who is just seeing charts for 15 years no uh it is not uh, giving you the uh, the right input one second i am bullish in general for chemical industries arthi industries seem to be good uh, well placed but i don't know uh, 15 years from now on what will be the scenario so 15 years is something difficult to comment but if you ask me Speciality chemicals for next two three years seem to be in a good spot. Two three years because after three years you never know pollution norms may come in or some green alternatives may come in. You never know how the business is change. So very difficult. In fact, three years is also risky time. Uh, you have to keep tracking it. Maybe for consider it for next eighteen to twenty four months, one and a half to two years. Nothing beyond that. We will reevaluate after that. Hmm. So C R Mastek, I am not studying. Very difficult. In fact, Mastek, what I know. has lot of exposure to europe and europe is undergoing recession so you want to just maybe maybe look out for things about how europe recession and the whole inflation thing over there is panning out because the business will come down in europe and they have good 50% or more business coming from europe this is what i know in I, and i have covered in one of the shorts so be careful mm ITC is one of the stocks. I, I mean, ITC is and ITC is ITC. <laughs> I absolutely, uh, I don't know. Yeah, the valuations are so good. The business is good. A cash flow business. Mm, but maybe now three hundred might look uh, a bit far fetched in the short run. Mm, so new member has joined. Shubhit. Hello, so Shubhit, welcome to Deep Dive memberships. I think Shubhit, you have rejoined. Hello, but I welcome you to our memberships, nonetheless. Mm. I want to know what financials of stock need knowledge in memberships include. So, Ayush, there will be no dedicated session about teaching financials, but of all the stocks that we do, we do financial analysis one. So you can go and try. Apart from this, Ayush, we have done. a uh, fundamental analysis 
कोर्स एंटायर सीरीज ऑफ मोर देन टेन प्लस आवर्स मोर देन टेन सेशन टेक्नो फंड एनालिसिस ऑफ ट्वेंटी प्लस आवर्स सो यू कैन गो हेड एंड एक्सप्लोर दिस ओके सो वेर वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ टू डू फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस एंड नॉट ओनली रेशियो एनालिसिस बट सी फ्यूचर ग्रोथ ऑल्सो सी मैनेजमेंट एनालिसिस the entire end to end complete course on how to go about investing fundamentally and combine it with technicals you will make a very deadly combo so i use fundamentals and technicals both and i highly suggest personally if i am an uh, enthusiast of techno fund analysis then i will really really encourage people to adopt same because it is something that i know works very well it works mm chalo mm so krishna there are lot of videos on technical analysis go and explore my channel i have done n number of times mm. so shobhit has market created bottom i uh, my simple reply will be how does it matter we are staggered investors and we see the signs okay maybe i just want to give a tongue in cheek remark maybe it seems the market has made bottom in the short run but i may be wrong and it doesn't matter i will always i will always have some cash in hand to deploy okay so even if market corrects it is okay i just uh, ensure that i use staggered investment mm. chalo i think uh, idfc first bank i have done i have created a video you igl i have not uh, analyzed for quite bit of time uh, shubham so very difficult but chalo feedback taken maybe i will see something if this can be done mm. so IX is right now technically not the best, but fundamentally and valuation wise, it is one of the stocks which I which is interesting to me personally. I am holding significant allocation is there in IX, so again my views will be significantly biased. Okay, I will be biased in IX. Technicals are not that interesting, but fundamentally and valuation wise, this seems to be at an interesting juncture. But again, uh, technically I would see the signs of reversal, some reversal happening. and in fact i have covered blogs also in my membership so you can look for memberships but an interesting business nonetheless nothing more than that mm. so shubhit mtr results at best have been in line okay uh, not the best of the results not really really outstanding i will prefer to see next quarter results about how the, how about they go order execution and all so the working capital days and cash conversion cycle maybe is coming down but nonetheless uh, uh, this is one business which needs more analysis in coming quarters one quarter average results i will not completely discard or accept the stock i will continuously study the business nothing too good nothing too bad pretty average neutral results mm i'm seeing if there is any good uh, answer chalo so i think we are sorted with that uh, uh, let me now take your leave absolutely loved loved today's session and the amount of interaction that we did uh, let write in the comments hell yes hit that like button if you want me to do more and more live streams and more and more frequently chalo so if you want more live streams drop in a comment hell yes and i will take live streams till the next live stream i'll see you around happy independence day in advance till next time jai hind dosto